This is the late report. Well, the mother of a 16-year-old Vancouver, Washington girl is suing Nordstrom's for wrongly detaining her daughter and handcuffing her in full view of the public. The store has apologized and told them to bring the handcuffs in for a full refund. <laughs> At a press conference earlier this week, it was announced that college basketball star Kate Starbird from Tacoma has signed to play for the Seattle Reign of the American Basketball League next season. However, there is some concern about how well she will fit into, pro, into Seattle's pro basketball scene since not only did she arrive to the press conference on time, she also seems to be happy with her salary. <laughs> Sultan High School held an event yesterday called Kiss a Pig for Kids to raise money for next year's graduating class. The idea came from a student who observed that a lot of Sultan people like kissing pigs anyway, so why not make some money doing it? Psychic Yuri Geller has offered to help negotiate for the freedom of a Spokane man who is being held hostage in India. Geller said that if he can't win the, uh, if he can't free the man, he can at least bend the spoons of his captors and make it really awkward for them to eat. <laughs> Hillary Rodham Clinton called the governor and Mrs. Locke to express concern over the bat that they chased out of their bedroom. Mrs. Clinton said that over the years, she has chased many things out of the president's bedroom, but never a bat. The University of Washington is now requiring that entering students must prove a knowledge of linear, quadratic, polynomial, logarithmic, and exponential functions and their applications. However, if you can throw a football 60 yards, you can skip the linear, quadratic, polynomial, logarithmic, and exponential things. On Monday, the Seattle Center introduced a new mascot called Sneedle to commemorate the 35th anniversary of Seattle World's Fair. On a sadder note, later that day, the lifeless body of the Weedle was found face down in the Seattle Center fountain. It's very sad. King County officials are studying the possibility of a 311 telephone line for non-emergencies to reduce the burden on emergency 911 lines. In a related story, local 911 lines have been flooded with calls by people asking when the new 311 line will take effect. <laughs> Finally, the Aproveco uh, Research Center in Cottage Grove, Oregon, is experimenting with making buildings out of materials like straw bales and recycled tires. If successful, they plan to build a model town that they will call Fife. This has been the late report.